Once upon a time, there was a fearless young Lombax who gained fame and fortune by ridding the galaxy of Emperor Percival Tachyon and Captain Romulus Slag. What a cheap shot, I tell you. Somebody unplugged me, controller. But just as peace was restored to Polaris, his first mate was kidnapped by creatures known only as the Zoni. <laughs> Using a powerful computer called Iris, he finally located a clue. An old pirate captain who may possess the key to the Zoni dimension. A pirate named Dark Water. Water has to be here somewhere. Be careful, Ratchet. Murder is an unregulated planet. Unwanted visitors have a bad habit of disappearing from here. Alas, poor Captain. No one misses you but but me. I miss you too, Rusty Pete. You may not have me body, but you'll always have me heart. <laughs> The crew hates me, Captain. They don't hate you, Pete. They just don't understand ye. Why, you're my top first mate, you... Ah! Guys, I'm not looking for any... Trouble. Wait! We're just here to find a pirate. Captain Angstrom Darkwater? Darkwater? You hear that, lads? The spangy stowaway seeks the ear of a dead man. How's about we arrange a proper introduction? Well, that could have done better.
Must be hungry. Avast, ye scurvy swine! Sweet eye of Azoni! It's slag! Scourge of Polaris! Slay of Dark Water itself! Right o! <laughs> and I hereby banish this Lumbax to Hunafar Island, where he will get exactly what he's looking for. I. I can. You heard him, lads. To hold a fire in one, two. Oh, just fire! Not again! <laughs> and so, the Lombax discovered the little known pirate party foul 21 13, which states Never interrupt a band of grogged up space pirates simply because you lost your robotic mate and seek the assistance of a dead captain. Ah, skip to the part about the curse. Whoa! Spoiler alert! We haven't even gotten to Hildefar Island. Oh, all right. Ratchet? Ratchet? Are you all right? Uh, 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 Clank? Clank, is that you? Clank! Ratchet, are you okay? You swallowed an awful lot of water. Please. It'll take more than a few space pirates to stop me. Come on, let's check out the island. My booster pack can only carry one of us. Do your grab boots still work? He sent us here for a reason. There has to be some kind of connection. The drawbridge is rusted shut. Hey, maybe you can use your wrench's kinetic tether. Think you can handle this one? Oh, Ratchet, come on, I'll race you to the beach. Hey there, young fella. Welcome to Hulufar Island. My name's Barnabas Worley. Mayor Barnabas Worley, to be precise. What brings you here? A cannon! It must have been messing around with those pirates. Well, any enemy of Sprocket and his gang is a friend of the island. We're trying to contact a friend of ours, but I can't seem to catch a signal. I don't suppose you have a radio tower we could use? Sorry, miss. We had a supply beacon, but someone vandalized it last night. But if you help us repair it, I'm sure you'd be able to contact your friend. Really? Well, that is good news. Just climb to the top of each wind turbine and give the old boat crank a turn. Check out the wind turbine. I'll head to higher ground. If I can catch a signal, maybe we can ask Pete what we're supposed to be looking for. Well, look who's here. Small galaxy, ain't it? Oh, too small! Oh. So, what brings you to Murder Gras, friend? Well, how fortuitous. I myself am quite the resourceful entrepreneur, if you know what I'm saying. 
Well, if you need anything, you give me a holler. I just might have something useful for you. You know what I mean? Well, hello there, young fella. The bedrock of this island is filled with trillium ore. Creates too much electromagnetic interference for most ships. That beacon's our only way of hailing them. Oh, well, that, that's just something Darkwater was working on. We sealed it off after he was killed. Best put it out of your mind. Mutiny, I suspect. Legend has it, Slag dropped anchor in Morrow Caverns and killed anybody who refused to call him captain, including old Darkwater. <laughs> Folks around here still like to scare the tourists with ghost stories about that place. This is the third time this year these old wind turbines have stopped working. It's sabotage, I tell you. Someone's been messing with my equipment. Problem is, these here wind turbines are about the only thing keeping the juice flowing through the island. No juice, no beacon. No beacon, no supplies. You follow? Anyways, my brother-in-law was supposed to come back and help repair these turbines, but he probably went fishing instead. <laughs> think you could help a feller out. I'd do it myself, but I... Well, I, I don't much care for heights. Oh, I'd sure appreciate it, stranger. Couple of good turns on that bolt crank up there ought to get her going again. Good luck. Some shady character who's been hanging around the beach. Tall feller. Annoying parrot. Always see him palling around with them pirates. Darkwater. Sorry, stranger, we don't talk about him around these parts on a... Stranger, you fix them wind turbines yet? <sighs> La 
Some wise guy uncoupled the flipping energy conductor from the supply beacon. How am I supposed to fix it without power? <sighs> Guess I'll just have to take lunch. Appreciate the offer, kid, but we can't do nothing till the power is restored. Lucky for me, I'm in the union. <laughs> There's no such thing. I'm sure it's nothing. I'll do some more digging and get back to you.
they have any leads? No. So far, the only thing they've been able to find are red feathers. missing a standard grummel net versible. I'll check and see if I can find one in town. You check the beach. Did you see we got the power working? That's good old-fashioned union labor for you. Don't thank me, though. I'm just a guy on a job. Afraid not. Looks like some bum stole the bolt straight off the power coupling. I can't connect the darn thing. Annoying for some people. Anyways, if you're looking to get a signal off the island, you'll have to find another bolt. I think I saw someone selling one down by the beach. Oh, a wise guy, huh? Yeah, make you feel big, picking on a working-class Joe such as myself? For shame. Zony, huh? 
Come to think of it, all Angstrom used to jabber on about them. Said they were the watchers of the universe, or some such cobbledygook. Howdy, friend. Now, what can I do for you? Well, what do you know? I happen to have one right here, procured by perfectly legal means, of course. Ah, with a crowbar! How about we make ourselves a deal? Here you go. I'll see you around, partner. One. Nice going, kid. Local Beacon Union 319 thanks you for your charitable contribution. Here we go. Just put this on here. And... <laughs> See if you can give it a good turn there, champ. I do it myself, but I'm on break. Union rules, you understand. Can it tell me where they are? Well, sure, if we have a Fulcrum star to activate it. Here, I took the liberty of borrowing this from our archives. They're pages from Darkwater's personal journal. Cabin's Log, the 3rd of August. The trip to the Breeders' Star Cluster was fraught with savings. Not only did I find a great place for cheap crawl cobbler, but I also met a mysterious race called the Zuni. Friendly little creatures they are, can manipulate time and space to their will. Their leader gave me a fulcrum star I can use to talk to them with once I return to Polaris. 
It's worth a fortune, but I wouldn't part with it for all the bolts in Meridian City. The only worry is me miserable first mate slag. It's only a matter of moons for he tries to pillage me property. But I've taken steps to defend it well into the afterlife using an ancient terrachnoid incantation and a coupon for one free curse at the Hula Farm Magic Emporium. I'll forever bind me soul to me body so that I may protect the Fulcrum Star. He who disturbs me shall disturb the entire crew. This I swear. Star ought to be locked away with the rest of Dark Water's treasure. Find that star, and you'll find your friend. Ratchet, I think I'm getting a signal. Rusty Pete to Lombax. I have crucial information about Captain Darkwater. I'm dropping anchor at the Hona Far Pier. Over and and out. Well, it's about time, mate. I've been radioing you all, all night. So have you found the Obsidian Eye yet? Yeah, but it doesn't work. Darkwater hid the Fulcrum Star. Not surprising. Cheap old Beanrake never did trust anyone. Of course, we were trying to kill him at the time. Good news is, every pirate worth their salt keeps a map to their buried treasure. A map? Well, where is it? Well, that's the bad news. It's probably still with his body over in Morrow Caverns. Tell you what, mate, why don't you let me help you find it? <laughs> what? Can't a pirate who's never told the truth in his life go blankly out of his way to help the Lombax who killed his best friend and captain? And I have just the pirate to help us. Ta-da! Ah! Uh, I call it Slag on a Stick. Rerouted his memory banks to his vocal processor, so he remember anything he's looking at. Now climb aboard, mateys, and put your faith in good old Captain Slag. And so... Our hero set forth to Morrow Caverns in search of a map to the mythical Fulcrum Star. With him was Rusty Pete, a noble and true Corsair, adored by women across the galaxy. Ah, this be a work of fiction. Do you even know where we're going? Of course I do. I got GPS. Look. Turn right at Isle of Despair. In five leagues, keep left. I love this thing. Hanukkah gift from me mom it was. <laughs> Arriving at destination on right. Here we are, Morrow Caverns. Famous for its majestic fjords, soothing grottos, and legions of tortured souls awaiting their chance for revenge. What? Uh, what? <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I still don't understand why we need Slag to find Darkwater. Didn't you help him hide the ship? Well, I was a bit soft at the time. Woke up three days later wearing an evening gown and spooning a kerchief. Ah, watch your tails! Ratchet. 
is so dangerous, so forbidden, that only a recitation of the fabled Song of the Dead shall open the way. I'm a little teapot, short and stout. Here is me handle, here is me spout.
she is. Right where we left her. And you're sure Dark Water's holding the map to the Fulcrum Star? Of course I am. Kind of wish I'd known it to time. That star would have bought a lot of grog. But a deal's a deal. <laughs> Exactly what's coming to you. battle in pirating history. Right. Why don't you stand right there, mate? I'll check for booby traps. Booby traps? Isn't that a bit cliche? <laughs> Not at all, mate. After all, you're the boob, and here's the trap! Cheers for the help, mate! Couldn't have gotten through the cabins without you! Sorry, old chum! What could I say? I'm a pirate! But here's a little something to show that there's no hard feelings! <laughs> Ahoy there, me hearty! This be Captain Slark, scourge of the galaxy, and... Dirty backstabbing, no good take a try to me. Darkwater, ye got a lot of nerve possessing me. This be my body now. Watch your tongue, you made you old body snatcher, or I'll carve out your gizzard and fry it for me supper. Tough talk for a wee little phantasm. Oh, I'm a phantasm on account of you sticking this blade in me back, you miserable cheat! All right, enough! 
I think you two could do as a good pillaging. Set course for a whole of our, our island. to the island before Slag does.
So, in his effort to claim the Fulcrum Star, our hero was outwitted by the charming Rusty Pete, <laughs> a loyal pirate whose only desire was to bring back his beloved Captain Slag. Scourge of Polaris and winner of Zordoom Prison's semi-annual beauty pageant. Of course, there were a few side effects. Hundreds of undead pirates were now free to roam the planet. And the captain now had to share a body with the pirate he killed long ago. But all in all, it was a great day. <laughs> Them. They're attacking us! The undead crew of Angstrom Dark Order. Here, I take these. They washed us all this afternoon. Head for the Obsidian Eye! Limbs be undead pirates! Run for your lives! It's the curse of Darkwater! The rumors are true! Save yourselves! We have to do something, Ratch! Hit! Oi! A fine crew you got there, Darkwater! Makes me sad I had to kill him all those moons ago!
regulations? We have to catch up with Darkwater before he comes back for another raid. Do you have any idea where he went? But the Fulcrum Star isn't in Moro Caverns. We would have found it. Isn't there any place else they'd go? A map? Ratchet, that could be the location of Darkwater's treasure. See if you can find someone to translate it. Way to go, kid. Way to go. Whoa there, friend. What's your hurry? Well, this is your lucky day. See, this here's a map to Darkwater Cove. It's written in Decadroid, but I would be happy to act as your guide. Now, of course, I couldn't offer my services without, hmm, say... Cold hard cash! Oh. oh, thank you kindly, friend. Let's go. Come on, partner. What do you say we, uh, borrow that skiff? The smuggler was true to his word. So with the Fulcrum Star within his grasp, and without even stopping at a pub, our hero sailed off into the night. His destination? Adventure! Jeez, laying it on a bit thick, eh, Pete? Now, you sure you want to go in there, friend? These ears have heard some mighty disturbing stories about this old island. That star is my only hope of finding Clank. I'm not leaving Mardi Gras without it. Well, all right. But I couldn't let my favorite customer go without a little extra firepower. Now, why don't you take these weapons? I just found them floating out near Hulafar Island. <laughs> soul that dares set foot on Darkwater Cove. State thy name, and pray it's reached mine ears before. That ain't no pirate I ever heard of. Be gone, or find your soul plucked from your bones for all eternity. Captain, is it possible? You don't look like him, but it's been a long time, and mine eyes aren't what they once were. If you really are, Darkwater, prove yourself, and fight like him. Great. I was just thinking I could do with more booby traps.
Hey! This facility is reserved for Captain Mangstrom Jerkwater! Or me, Darkwater. Fix me a drink, and ye may pass. It's simple. I give you the ingredients in an unnecessarily cryptic and bizarre fashion. You step on the dispenser switches in the proper order. Got it? A bit of the bubbly, a chill to the bone. Top it with a twister and send a happy pirate home. Cyclone, a drop of hot fire. A wee bit of bubbly makes an honest man a liar. cell to grog cell ratio. You did it again, sir. Ye may be dark water after all. All right, here's your last drink. A pinch of lover's greed, a dash of winner's sorrow. Top it off with golden sun and bid thee fair good morrow. of Wormstool makes it blissfully reminiscent of a fine Chateau Viasante. You did it, sir! Welcome home! Allow me to fetch you the steps. Water must have had a way across the lagoon. Come on, we gotta check out the island. Sleeping, sir, I... Wait a minute. Are you a bit short and furry to the angstrom dark water? 
Play his concerto of doom and prove your hit. Here be the first part. Looks like this meteor pad has enough energy to put you over the keys. Well done! But that One more puzzle. Shadow be cast of a face. May a shadow be cast.
the Fulcrum Star! Watch your step there, laddie. Ix doesn't always mark the spot. A fair good tomorrow, young Lombax. I pray God preserve ye from the pythors and their bellies. But don't worry, we'll take good care of your fair Sally. <laughs>
given far to Nelson to be left breathing the captain's air, me hearty. Any final words before I nail your carcass to the pike? A bribe? I wouldn't trade the opportunity to skin your scurvy carcass for all the booty in the galaxy! Let's dance! Friend, I just saw Darkwater's fleet set sail for Hulafar Island. You must have rattled his cage pretty good. Having escaped the dangerous uh, uh, dangers of Darkwater Cove, our hero had one final chance to recover the star. But the courageous Captain Slag had no intention of going quietly. He took the Lumbax's female friend captive, which of course multiplies the drama by, like, four. Pete, what have I told you about using math? That there's grounds for a plank walking. Uh, sorry, Captain. <clears throat> and now, the final chapter in our gripping saga. Events do not occur in real time. Welcome aboard, me hearty. Ye come in a fair breeze. I was just about to gut your dear Sally like a Marcasian trout. <laughs> this is your last chance, Slag. Just hand over Talwin and the star. Tis a fool who thinks he can reason with a man whose head he once took. He might be wanting to return the favor. <laughs> Ready the locker, Davy. Slag's got one more for ya. I've been waiting for this. This day a long time, me hearty. Try not to die too quickly.
You know, there's a spot of irony in all this madness. For once, it's you who's trying to steal from me. After all, it ain't your fulcrum star. It's mine! Some fighting ye, eh?
No more running, Slag. Give me the Fulcrum Star. Ah, oh, familiar threats from a tired adversary. Let's end this quarrel once and for all. The pirate way. By playing dirty. Got another tune for you, Eddie. Stop me if you've heard it. So, after several lucky shots and a few cheat codes, the Lumbax destroyed the union between Captain Slag and Darkwater. Aye, and good riddance. Going to the bathroom was far too awkward. The Lumbax returned to Hulifar to claim his booty, the location of his missing first mate. Hope this works. <laughs> Signal lost. Coordinate.
coordinates acquired for Brigus Nebula. Nefarious. Hang on, Clank. I'm coming. With the location of his missing mate in hand, our hero took off into space! Little did he know, the greatest challenge he would ever face lay just ahead. <laughs> the end. Wanna hear it again? I didn't want to hear it the first time, you mangy old bucket of balls! All right, all right. No need to get cross. I'll quit yelling when you find me a new body. Now start rowing. Row! 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 Oh, let me guess. Row? Shut up! Row! 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 Put your back into it! Row! Row! 